All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you give you my NFC North grades for their selections of the 2016 NFL Draft. I'm gonna start things off with the Chicago Bears, and they were actually one of the top winners of this year's draft. They did a great job. Now I'm gonna start with their first round selection, Leonard Floyd, the outside linebacker coming out of Georgia. This was a great pick. He's six foot five, 244 pounds, and he is a a gifted athlete. He reminds me a little bit of Ziggy Ansa from the Detroit Lions. I think he could be a pretty good pass rusher and disrupt the line of scrimmage getting behind the line of scrimmage. In the second round, they picked up one of the top guards entering this year's draft and Cody Whitehair out of Kansas State. I did like this selection. Now, they went back to the defensive unit in the third round. They picked up a good rusher um, um, from Florida in Jonathan Bullard who had 66 tackles and 17 and a half tackles for loss this past season. And in the fourth round, they went with an inside linebacker out of West Virginia and Nick Kowakowski. Definitely had a great career, over 300 tackles during his course of his career as a Mountaineer. In the fourth round, this was the only one um, pick that I was not really impressed with. Deion Bush out of uh, Miami, a uh, safety. I think it was a, a, an okay selection at best. And sticking in the fourth round, they went with DeAndre Hall, the cornerback out of Northern Iowa. I think this was a pretty good selection, a player out of the FCS the FCS division. And in the fifth round, they went with Jordan Howard, the running back coming out of Indiana. Now, he's going to be working, collaborating with a fellow Big Ten runner, an, um, Jeremy Langford. Jeremy Langford actually had a couple of great games last season to replace Matt Forte when Forte was injured. In the sixth round, they picked up, I believe, a better safety out of William and Mary and DeAndre Houston, Car uh, DeAndre Houston Carson. He actually has actually more... Um, pass breakups and interceptions compared to uh, Deion Bush. And lastly, they picked up Daniel Baverman, the wide receiver coming out of Western Michigan. Now, he's actually coming off of a great season, 108 receptions for over 1,300 yards receiving and 13 rece receptions for touchdowns. Now, he definitely was overshadowed by Corey Davis, but Baverman can be like a little bit of a Wes Welker guy and work his way into the starting lineup for the Bears offense. Now, overall for the Chicago Bears, I like their picks. I'm going to give them an A-. Next up, the Detroit Lions. They had an okay draft this past season. Start with their first-round pick. They picked up Taylor Decker, the uh, offensive tackle coming out of Ohio State. They're looking to protect um, Matthew Stafford and even try to find a way to develop a good ground attack with Amir Abdella the leading, the, um, leading the way and running the football. In the second round, they picked up a Sean Robinson, the um, defensive tackle coming out of Alabama. Him and Jeremy was a great combo fit in the interior line for the Crimson Tide to help them win a national championship. In the third round, they picked up Graham Glasgow, a good center slash guard out of Michigan. Fourth round, they picked up Miles Kilbrew out of Southern Utah, another pl player from, uh, from Southern Utah, a good pl gifted player from the secondary. 233 uh, career tackles uh, over the last two seasons, I apologize, with a uh, 14 pass breakups and 3 interceptions. It shows that he could give you some good run support as well as cover skills as well. In the 5th round, they picked up a guard, uh, Joe Dahl, out of uh, Washington State. I think this was a pretty good selection. Sticking in the 5th round, they picked up Antoine Williams, the inside linebacker coming out of Southern, um, Georgia Southern. He had 107 tackles this past season. In the 6th round, they had 3 selections, starting with quarterback Jake Rudock out of uh, uh, Michigan. I think this was a pretty good selection and okay. I'm um, learning a little bit from John, um, Jim Harbaugh and then his only season as a Wolverine. And next up in the sixth round, Anthony um, Zetto. He's a defensive end common out of Penn State. Now, at first... He was the guy in the in the defensive line from Penn State that I was looking at entering this year's draft until Cardinal Nassib came out of nowhere and had a great um, campaign this past season, getting um, Defensive Player of the Year in the Big Ten honors. But Zetto is still a great player. Over the um, last couple of seasons, he had uh, 28 tackles for loss and 12 sacks. In the uh, sixth round, they picked up uh, Jimmy Landis, a long snapper out of Baylor to help out in special teams. And lastly, with their final pick, they went with Dwayne Washington, the running back. Uh, uh, Dwayne Washington, the, the running back coming out of Washington, playing for the Huskies, leading the team in rushing last season. Now, this this um, draft this year, I'm actually going to have to give them a C. I think they had a couple of decent picks, but, but as far as the... Um, 
the uh, Georgian Southern player and Antoine Williams, that was a little bit of a question mark. And they had decent players in each particular position. So I'm going to have to give them a C. Actually, I'm going to give them a C plus for their efforts. Next up, the Green Bay Packers. They had, I believe, six selections overall. In their first round, they picked up Kenny Clark, a stellar defensive tackle out of UCLA. He's six foot two, 314 pounds, and my man can move. He actually had 75 tackles, 11 tackles for loss last season, and six sacks. In the second round, they picked up Jason Spriggs, an offensive tackle out of Indiana. Definitely well-deserved in the second round. Third round and fourth round, they picked up a couple of linebackers. One from Utah State and Kyler Fackrell, who actually was looking, working well collaborating with Nick Vigil. And uh, Blake Martinez out of Stanford, an inside linebacker, who had 242 tackles over the last two seasons for that great Stanford Cardinal defense. In the fourth round, in their final pick in the fourth round, they picked up Deion Lowry, a decent defensive end coming out of Northwestern. Fifth round, they picked up Trevor Davis, uh, Cal. He's six foot two, definitely has good uh, height advantage but he only weighs 186 pounds but he is coming off of his best season just under 700 yards this past year receiving and lastly Kyle Murphy offensive tackle out of Stanford I think this was a pretty decent selection and overall for the Packers I'm gonna have to give them a solid B Next up, and lastly, the uh, Minnesota Vikings. They had a pretty good draft um, this past year as well. Starting with Laquan Treadwell, their first-round selection coming out of Ole Miss. The number one receiver, in my opinion, entering this year's draft, even though he wasn't selected, the first receiver selected. I believe that was Corey Coleman for the Cleveland Browns. In the second round, it went to uh, Mackenzie Alexander out of Clemson. Now, if you look at his numbers, it doesn't really show that he's an effective player, but he does have a strong presence in the secondary series. Seriously, that was a great Clemson defense, and he was one of the top secondary players for that defense. In the fourth round, it went with Willie Beavers, the offensive tackle out of Western Michigan. Definitely does a good job as far as run, um, run blocking to help out Adrian Peterson. In the fifth round, they picked up Kendrell Brothers out of uh, Missouri. He definitely was a good performer in the SEC Conference over the last couple of seasons. And in the sixth round, they had two selections. One player, uh, Moritz uh, Bohringer out of Germany. Didn't really see too much about him. Didn't really agree with him, but I did look him up a little bit. He did have, he is a, a pretty good player, but I don't really think he should have been selected. And finally, David Morgan, the tight end out of uh, Texas San Antonio, who had over 500 yards receiving at, in his senior campaign. I think this was a pretty good selection late in the in, at the end of the draft. Now, for the Minnesota Vikings, minus the Moritz selection, I'm going to have to give them a B-. minus. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys from being just a couple of minutes, I have one more blog for today. I'm going to talk about the NFC South Division. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem Call. Be easy.